Hi, I'm Diana Rogers from Harb Ski Systems. The topic of this instructional video is how to transfer balance from one foot to the other. And the transfer of balance is typically what we do between turns when we're making linked turns because we want to alternate our stance foot, the, the foot on which most of our balance is held, as we go back and forth. If I'm curving to my right, most of my balance is gonna be on my left foot. If I'm curving to my left, most of my balance is going to be on the right foot. So somewhere between those going left and going right needs to be a moment where I literally transfer my balance from one side to the other. If you've done that successfully, we now have established our balance. That means that we are ready to learn how to transfer our balance. And what's so important about how we do this is that we're trying to minimize how many body parts change so that we're not totally rearranging ourselves and then hoping to refine our balance. We're going to try to stay very, very tidy and organized, almost the same as in that perfect stop, and bring that balance to the new uphill foot. One aspect of transferring balance onto our uphill foot that bears a special practice and special understanding is what the foot needs to do inside the boot to keep the ski rolled towards its outside or little toe edge. All the time in the previous video when we were balancing on our downhill foot, as the balance foot, the stance foot, that foot is holding on its big toe or its inside edge, which is relatively easy to accomplish just by how we're built over both feet. Once it's time to start talking about transferring balance to that uphill foot, you can see as I do that right there, that my ski needs to stay on its outside or little toe edge. If my foot flattens, it's gonna be really difficult to find balance on that ski. And it is physically a little more difficult with our body to find that balance over the outside edge. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time working on that. 